What's poppin' YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna show you guys how I achieve my jumbo Senegalese twist. And I'm using an edge tamer that was sent to me by SM Beauty. It's called First Touchdown, and it comes in three different strengths. So the yellow is Super Touch, orange is Ultimate Touch, and the purple is Maximum Touch. So first I'm gonna be working with the yellow, the Super Touch, to help me define my parts and also to make sure that the area that I'm sectioning off for the twist are super neat and sleek. And all of these edge controls are infused with argan oil and tea tree oil to help stimulate hair growth. And I love that about the product because it doesn't make the client's hair super dry. So before I do any twist, I'm gonna be sectioning off my client's hair for her twist and I'm parting in squares and just securing each square with a rubber band and I'm doing this not only to save time but it also helps me make sure I'm measuring out the right amount of hair. For each section I do apply the edge tamer around the roots of their hair and I do that just to make sure that it's super sleek and it gives you that tight look even though the rubber band isn't super tight on your client's head. Just stop looking for love. You still got so here I'm going to show you what it looks like when the hair is all pre-parted and I love this edge control because as you can see it doesn't have her scalp looking super dry and at the top I was just trying to be fancy so I did some triangle parts just so it didn't look super dull in the top. Now to achieve this look I am using the jumbo braid and it actually took me 16 packs of hair to do this so I did use one pack for two braids and all I did was separate it I didn't cut it and I feathered the ends. Because the client wanted her twist really long, I did have to stretch the hair and I didn't show that in this video, but if you guys would like to see a video on how to stretch, just let me know in the comment section and I'll get that popping for you. To achieve the actual twist, I'm using the first touchdown ultimate touch and the Eco Styler, the black caster and flaxseed oil styling gel and I'm just rubbing that on the client's hair and I'm really focusing on making sure that's on the ends of the hair. Now to achieve the twist, I'm going to split the client's hair into two. I'm adding the synthetic hair and I'm twisting that right side at least three times. So you'll see me twist one, two, uh, two, there you go, and then three, and I'm gonna take the left side and put it underneath. And then I'm gonna now twist that right side again one, two, three times, and then I'm gonna switch it over again. So really all I'm doing is twisting one side and then pulling it over the top and pulling the opposite side underneath. You want to make sure that you're holding the hair um, over your thumb and in between your the rest of your fingers, um, basically just to keep it tight. And here I'm just rubbing Eco Styler Gel to help the client's hair blend in. I am going to show you guys how I did this like two more times from different angles. So if you cannot see or that was super confusing, I'm going to show you again. So just like hang tight. Just stop looking for love Girl, you know you still got time Girl, you know you still got time Girl, you know you still got Just stop looking for love You still got time Girl, you know you still got time Okay, so here we go again from a different angle. I am taking the client's hair. It is split in two, and I'm going to be twisting that right side at least three times. Sometimes I do two, sometimes I do three, so that's why I'm saying at least three times. I pull that over the top. I pull the bottom underneath, and then I'm going to twist that right side again. One, two, three. And then I'm going to switch it over and I'm going to freeze the frame here just so you guys can see how I'm holding that left side over my thumb and in between the rest of your fingers. And that's really important because you need that side to stay tight. And I know you want to see some faces. Just stop looking for love. Girl, you know you still got time. Girl, you know you still got time. Girl, you know you still got just stop looking for love. You still got time. Do you know you still got time? Do you know you still got time?
So I am going to be taking this twist all the way down to the end just so you guys can see how I finish it off. And I'm just using that same method so I'm twisting the right side anywhere from two to three times and pulling it over all the way until I get down to the bottom. When I get down to the very bottom of the twist, I am going to finish it off in a braid. And this is definitely optional because you can twist it all the way down to the end, but I feel like braiding it just makes it a little more secure. For love, you still got time. Do you know you still got time? Do you know you still got this could be something if you let it be something don't scare me away turning somethings into nothing babe. now when you get to the bottom sometimes you'll realize that one side has more hair than the other and i just borrow hair from that opposite side and continue twisting come give it to me yeah 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 come give it to me play by play I can tell you've been bored all day cause you're young and you still got time don't waste your time we've been wasting away are you so once I get to the very bottom where I barely have any hair left, just like that there, I'm going to begin to braid and that's how I finish it off. Okay, so here's one more angle for the Senegalese twist. I'm not really going to talk you through this one because... Um, I'm pretty much going to be saying the same thing, but this is actually my favorite angle. Um, so hopefully you guys can really see what I'm doing here. Um, if you see my hands like looking like it's super confusing, like this is already like a challenging hairstyle for me. So um, me trying to like put my hands in a position where you guys can really see is challenging. I actually hate doing Senegalese twists. Like whenever people ask for it, my heart just sinks a little bit. Um, and I know a lot of braiders that actually do not do these and it does hurt your hands sometimes so that is part of it but also like I felt like I just struggled on my first like times trying to do this so I don't want you guys to get discouraged because this is not like a super easy hairstyle um, and it is a lot more complicated than it looks so just hang in there remember keep practicing like I learned on a mannequin head um, I just like forced myself to keep practicing and I guarantee that over time you will get it play the same come give it to me yeah 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 come give it to me play by play I can tell you've been bored all day cause you're young and you still got time don't waste your time we've been wasting away are yeah, you yeah. and no matter what you say oh yeah that smile gonna take you places And I know you wanna see some faces Just stop looking for love Girl, you know you still got time Girl, you know you still got time Girl, you know you still got Just stop looking for love You still got time Girl, you know you still got time Girl, you know you still got time Just stop looking for love Girl, you know you still got time Girl, you know you still got time Girl, you know you still got Just stop looking for love You still got time Girl, you know you still got time Girl, you know you still got This could be something If you let it be something Don't scare me away Turning somethings into nothing, babe You're already used to the games, babe You play your role and I play the same Once I finish all the twists, I am going to red them down with mousse And this just creates an extra hold and helps to lay some of the flyaways down And then I'm going to dip the ends of them in boiling hot water just to seal them And I'm going to trim off like the excess long scraggly looking pieces See some faces. Just stop looking for love. Girl, you know you still got time. Girl, you know you still got time. Girl, you know you still got. And here's the finished look. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. I would love to do another video on a smaller version of the Senegalese Swiss. So if you're interested in seeing that, please let me know in the comment section below. And as always, make sure you guys like, comment, share my videos, and I will catch you guys next time.